Okay, let's try that again. I've got the GoPro set up at 90 frames per second so we can see um, how things are feeding in and get a good sense of what things look like as they're going through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with this uh, setup and then I'm going to put um, this one on and then I'm going to put this into here and as you can see what it does is actually raises it up. So one of the things I'm wondering is uh, how, uh, how where the seed enters the column affects how it gets sucked up. And with each one, I'll increase the amount of suction as it goes along. So here's our first one. So as we experienced before, not quite enough, so we're going to turn it up a bit. A little bit of suction there, but not quite enough, so up we go. Now we have to get up there. I'm going to turn up all the way now. Now I'm just going to do a higher volume at once here and see what that looks like. So. So that's that. Now I'm going to do it with this guy, and if you remember, doing it with this one didn't work very well before, and I think it's because the opening up here is just too big. It's drawing too much air in, and there's not enough suction, so I'm going to start this one uh, at the same point and see how it does. So we'll do the same thing with this one, feeding it slowly at first, and then more after the second round, much heavier. So at that same level of suction, really doing nothing, we'll do it all the way up here. Still really nothing, now I'll do high volume, just the same one. So that's pretty conclusive that if this opening is too big, the machine's not going to work. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this other piece into this piece. This is going to reduce the suction a bit. Actually, I might even seal that up a little bit um, with a towel here. Um, and the reason I want to do this is it seals it up a bit and it also, it raises where the entry point is. And this is a question I have is, you know, what happens before the seed was entering here? Now they're entering up here a bit and potentially they could be entering right at the top. So it really does come down to, you know, maybe that's a, you know, we definitely know the opening size is going to play a difference, but is, uh, are there other factors that we need, to, we need to consider as well? And that could be one is where the seed actually enters. So this one should be similar to the first. Let's just see uh, what we get. So I'll start it on sort of midway. Actually, no, I'll start it low again and then uh, work our way up. It's on the lowest setting of the vacuum. And as suspected, we're getting no suction there, so. Turn that up a bit. We're getting some suction there now. It'll be interesting to see how this is different from the first one. 
more. Definitely seeing more movement there. bigger amount of other ones here. Okay, so that gives us some insight. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll upload those videos and see if through slow motion we can sort of get any insights from what we're seeing in there or if we need to maybe put in it all, something to redirect in one direction or, or getting a sense of whether this should be set higher or not. Um, yeah, lots of little things to figure out still. Another thing I could do is so, for example, if I feed a bunch of seed through at a really high rate, the lighter stuff comes here, the heavier stuff comes here, and then I feed that heavier stuff through again. Now, theoretically, the heavy stuff has already made it through the cycle once. It should make it through again, maybe a little bit coming through. And then a third time, I would suspect none of that, that seed would, would get sucked through. And if it continues to get sucked through, it, it, it makes me wonder just more about what's happening here that in the first round the heavy stuff doesn't get set through, set, uh, sucked through, but in the second round it does. And that just sort of speaks to seeds interfering with each other, the uh, feeder, uh, uh, the hopper rate, and then maybe uh, where it's being fed in here. Because you can see I can actually still take that up a couple of inches there. So uh, having that come up even higher could make a difference because there's more room for the seed to fall before the suction hits. So lots of things to consider, including changing the, the whole size to smaller, and uh, different feeding mechanisms. So uh, yeah, a little bit of insight that I hope the, uh, the, the time lapse or